today let us do the linear variation principle that is basically applied for the complex systems and it involves uh, guess and the trial functions for solving the Schrodinger wave equation in case of the complex systems. So uh, the guess or trial function it will be represented by psi a is equal to summation of a n psi n. So this will be expressed as a linear combination of uh, complete set of normalized and orthogonal eigenfunctions. So uh, psi n you will be representing by psi 1, psi 2, psi 3 and so on. So and a n in this equation it is a arbitrarily parameter uh, which is known as the vibrational parameter or coefficient. So according to the linear variation principle the trial function uh, if it is having maximum parameters so its uh, corresponding energy will be more closer to the exact uh, energy E0 or what is known as the ground state energy. So let us consider the trial wave functions. So these are the trial wave function for psi1 that is C1, phi1, C2, phi2 and uh, C3, phi3. So uh, the energy for this will be represented by E1. Similarly for psi2 it will be C1, phi1, C2, phi2, C3, phi3 t, phi, uh, phi and C4, phi4. So energy in this case will be represented by E2. So if this is the ground state, so E2 will be more closer to the exact E value. So as you can say E2 it is having maximum parameters. In, as comparison to this so it will be more closer to the E0 function. So this is what is known as the linear variation principle. Now we will be using variation method for solving one dimensional box equation. Now this equation we already know by variation theorem that is energy is equal to uh, integration of psi star h psi d tau and integration of psi star psi d tau. So this equation we have already derived uh, by the variation theorem. Now psi value we know th that is sine n pi x upon a. So what we will do is we will put the value of psi in this equation. So psi star will be sine n pi x upon a and h value we already know that is minus h cut square upon 2m del square upon del x square. Again value of psi that is sine n pi x upon a dx. Similarly in the denominator you will put the value of psi. That is this is for psi star this is for psi. So you will be getting this equation after putting the value of psi and h. So now from this this value is constant so this I will be taking outside the bracket. So what is left that I will be writing. So E will be now equal to this is a constant that is minus h cut square upon 2m. So I am taking this outside sin n pi x upon a. Now this is double differentiation term. So once when you do the differentiation you will be getting cos n pi x upon a n pi upon a. And second time when you are doing the differentiation you will get minus sin n pi x upon a and n pi upon a. So this minus and this minus it will become plus. Now in next step we will be solving this portion. So on solving this you will be getting here uh, this I will be writing as it is upon 2m that is h cut upon 2m this I have copied from here integration 0 a sine n pi x upon a now d by dx of this you will be getting minus sin n pi x upon a and uh, n pi d by dx of this will be n pi upon a and n pi upon a was already there. So that divided by in denominator we will be writing as such that is a by 2. Now this minus and this minus it will become plus. So I will be solving it further that is uh, h cut square upon 2m and n pi a whole square I am taking common. Now what is left inside that is sin square n pi x upon a dx. 
upon a by 2. Now if you do the integration of this portion again you will be getting a by 2. So I am writing a by 2 here. So uh, this will be my further equation a by 2 a by 2 will get cancelled and uh, in my further step I will be putting the value of h cut. h cut is h upon 2 pi. So h cut square will be h square upon 4 pi square 2m n square pi square a square. So after cancelling I am getting this as the energy that is n square h square 8 m a square. So this will be the equation for energy. So this energy will be equal to the ground state energy. So this is the energy uh, and this will be equal to the ground state energy. So if we multiply any wave function by a constant there will be no change in the energy. So in uh, our previous derivation we have already derived this value that is psi is equal to root 2 upon a this we have derived sine I am writing it directly upon a. So this is a constant by using a variation method you can get the value of psi that is psi will be equal to sine n pi x upon a because if we are multiplying the wave function by a constant there will be no change in the energy 